Afternoon, guys. I'm Dave Canterbury, Self Reliance Outfitters in the Pathfinder School, back with another in our series, Five Minutes to Better Bushcraft. And we're out here in the woods today, walking around with some students at the basic class, and we've come across some puffball mushrooms down here on the stump. These are all passive. You can see the holes in the top of them where it's turned to spore now, and they're not white. You have to cut these things open. If there's white meat in there, you can eat that. There's no problem with it. But once they've turned to spore like this, and they become dusty, and you see that puff coming out. There's several uses for this. Number one, if you're a hunter, you could use this for wind direction to see which way the wind is going if you're bow hunting in the woods. The medicinal value of this is that it is a styptic and it's also antiseptic in nature. So you can take this and open it up. And if you had a cut, you could basically just shake all of that powder onto the wound and it will help to staunch the bleeding. And it's not gonna hurt you any to get that in the wound. Just like that. This has been used historically for post-surgery bleeding as well. And that is probably a pear-shaped puffball. There's also a jeweled puffball. And I can't really tell the difference by looking at this one because it's so far past it. But I'd say these are pear-shaped puffballs. All right, guys. Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters of the Pathfinder School. Appreciate you joining me for another short video in our 5 Minutes of Better Bushcraft. I'll see you on the next video. We appreciate all your views, your support, everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And don't forget to check out Cold Cracker Bushcraft on YouTube, as well as Corporal's Corner and Josh Enyart from Flint and Steel Critical Skills. Thanks, guys.